guide to doing Secret Santa right, and getting a great gift in return. Secret Santa has become the staple solution for buying Christmas gifts when in a big group, but it's not always one people are pleased about. In a standard office, anywhere from 10 to maybe 25 people will take turns pulling names out of the proverbial hat and then be required to find the perfect gift for their recipient. This is okay if you get your lunch eating mate Mark, but not so much if you get Susan from accounts who you've never got on with. There are some great things about Secret Santa though, and some ways that it can be made easier. Even for your most grinchier of co-workers. If you're in a particularly big office it can be hard to remember names, never mind know what Tim in design does of a weekend. So it may be worthwhile suggesting breaking the Santas into teams, narrowing it down to maybe 5 or 6 in the group. This is the optimum number of participants as it's a small enough group to get to know someone either at your desks or in the pub and you have a suitable number of co-conspirators to help should you dither. If you're lucky to get a friend, then you really are winning, you can get them a mixture of lovely and funny. If you share a private joke this is the perfect time to get them something for their desk that will remind them of it. Secret Santa gives you the perfect opportunity to find out more about people you spend five days a week with. While you may not be able to straight out ask Karen what she likes you can subtly dig for info, inquire about weekend plans, if they watch or listen to anything in particular. It may also lead to you finding a new work buddy. Someone to go to gigs with or just confide in. Secret Santa makes me feel like a bit of a spy, sneaking through someone's life, Instagram feed, and finding the perfect little things that will brighten their day in some way. Is dead vagina syndrome a real thing? You can now bid for a stay in a glamping igloo and help homeless people in the process. Warburton's Crumpets apologizes after using a hashtag linked to furry fetish group. A good secret Santa always finds out important details, do they cook? Are they avid readers? Is there anything they really hate? The great thing about social media is that the answer to most of these questions will be a tweet post or Instagram story away. A big worry with Secret Santa is spending lots on the perfect gift then getting something nap in return. So, in the course of digging for info, or discussing interests over coffee, I will be sure to throw in something I love. There's also the obvious way to ensure you get some things you like by sharing your Amazon wish list on social media. While Secret Santa can be a minefield. I can't help but love it and will defend it every December until I forget the words to Fairy Tale of New York. More, simple ways to make the festive period less awkward for people who aren't drinking. More, 7 edible homemade Christmas gift ideas. More, if someone says thank you, it's lovely, they probably don't like their present, 